That guitar is like a hundred thousand dollars. That's the best guitar I've ever played in my life. Ever. ever. Oh god. Eating rice with chopsticks. Almost impossible. Hey guys, what's up? It's uh really echoey in here. Oh okay. It's October 20th. I have today and tomorrow in Chicago, and then I'm back to Toronto tomorrow. Lincoln went back home and he recommended this Japanese steakhouse, so I went and got a just this crazy steak where they cook it right on the table. It was amazing. Not sure what I'm getting up to tonight. If I get all my work done today, I got tomorrow to do whatever I want around the city. Hey guys, just made it to Making Music here in North Chicago. Great shop, I was here yesterday, and I get free reign of the place today to make any videos I wanna make. Great breakfast this morning, good coffee, good weather. Life's good, man. This might be the most exciting day of my life because I have this entire store to myself all day. Any guitar, film whatever I want. It's a little overwhelming. Look over there, we have a little more expensive stuff. We got front desk, Keith Richards. I'm a little biased because I own this guitar, the Revolt Common Auto, but look at that finish, just natural. Got a wiggle stick, fun. Okay, it's currently six o'clock, Chicago time. Uh, I spent all day making videos. I was just demoing everything pretty much. Uh, I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning and get like B-roll shots, pictures, all that stuff. And now I'm, al I'm alone in this place, it's getting dark. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. They have these mannequin things, I'll show you guys. I walked around the corner and I see this like mannequin thing Freaked me out. It's like a Fender display where they like, you can see the, like all the parts of the guitar, like from this angle. Whoa. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna eat something. I'm gonna go for a swim tonight. I'm just gonna shut my brain off because today was a long, long day. Let me show you those mannequins because Jesus Christ, they're scary. It's that guy, look. See that? It's terrifying. We are in the back rooms right now. Uh, back rooms are making music. Kind of sketchy. Uh, like, is there one light switch, I wonder? I'm at the exit. If I turn that off, if the whole place will go out, let's see. It's so, uh, quiet. It's 9.30 a.m. right now. I got shots myself again. We're gonna do a little bit of footage. Light leaves at 8.40, so I got a lot of, not a lot of time to do a lot of stuff. He was back in Vincent's. Oh, this was the one you got after that? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. So we made it to Chicago Music Exchange, which is the craziest store I've ever been to in my life. I came in, I saw this uh, vintage 66 Melody Maker, and uh, I'm in love. Lincoln says we're a badass blues player, so. Very true. Jesus. Why are they letting me play it? What the, dude. <laughs> oh my god. That guitar is like $100,000. I have a guitar that's basically the reissue of this, trying to be this. This is the real thing. I don't even know what to say. This is the best store I've ever been to. I can't buy this. I'm not rich enough. Yeah, 65. $15,000. Yeah. Alright, that's, uh, that's it for Chicago. That's it for my trip. Yeah. 
Lincoln. Spent a lot of time in yeah. cars together. Yeah, man. <laughs> a lot of time. I, Best uh, luck to you, man. Come back soon. I should explain. We went to Chicago Music Exchange and uh, I bought this soldier strap because I felt like I needed something to commemorate the trip. They let me play an $80,000 Gibson. <laughs> I don't deserve that. Man. What yeah, the hell? Yeah, and you, you vouched me pretty hard. You're like, yeah, oh, this kid's like a killer player. And then I was like all nervous. I had, to, <laughs> I had to put him on the spot a little bit. Yeah. Well, man, I love Chicago. I want to come back. Do it's, it soon. Uh, unreal. Come back soon. Never boring. Yeah, man. All right, I got to hit a flight. Through security here at Chicago Airport. And uh, flight got delayed an hour, so we're going to have to wait a little bit of time. And I'm going to eat something. Okay, uh, God, what a trip. Okay, I feel like I have a lot to say to kind of wrap up that trip. That was amazing. The whole trip, I felt sick. I was able to push through it and just grind that whole week and see how much I could really do in a week, and I got so much done, which is great. Now, this video is kind of weird, and this channel's been weird lately because I know a lot of you guys don't play guitar. Obviously, I used to skateboard and fingerboard, and that's what this channel was about. That's probably what most of you guys do. This guitar thing, there's actually a career path for me and it's like, if I can use this YouTube channel and build from what I already have, I feel like I, you know, I got a lot of potential to do some pretty cool stuff. So if you're in for the ride, subscribe. Uh, I appreciate everyone who watched this. I'm so happy to be back home now, see the family, see the dog. Um, I have a new level of respect for this guitar. Uh, meeting all the guys who kind of had a part in putting this together. Like uh, Yesterday in Chicago, I bought I bought this strap here. These are soldier straps. They're made in Chicago by a, by a few people. Really, really good quality stuff. I'm gonna put it on this guitar. I'm not much of a souvenir guy. Like I wouldn't buy like a, ooh, I went to Chicago shirt, but I feel like this is a good way to commemorate the trip. And to put this on this guitar will just be a really special thing for me for a long time. So I need to take this day off and uh, gotta see my girlfriend, hang with the dog, the family, do all that stuff because it was a long trip. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all. And, uh, new single dropping soon. <laughs>